Rio de Janeiro is known worldwide for its famous stretches of sand like Copacabana and Ipanema. But where should you lay out your towel on your trip to Rio? We're gonna count down our favorite beaches, including some of the most popular ones and some of the more unexpected ones. Let's go check it out. Our first beach is one of Rio's most iconic and visited attractions, Copacabana Beach, a four kilometer stretch of golden sand along a crescent beach dotted with world famous hotels. Copacabana is the beach to see and be seen. It's buzzing with energy, including busy kiosks, footballers and beachgoers from local cariocas to tourists alike. Be sure to bring a football and your tiniest bikini when you hit up Copacabana. This is the beach that everyone is talking about. Is Copacabana safe? Is it a real place? And is the beach clean? As you can see from our footage, the beach has pure white sands and crystal clear waters. As for safety, this is considered a city beach and tends to draw hundreds of thousands of people, many of whom are very friendly and fun loving. We recommend that you do as the locals do. That means dress casually and bring the minimum. A football, some sunscreen, a bathing suit, and a little bit of cash for caipirinha. There are many vendors on Copacabana selling everything from t-shirts, bikinis, sunscreen, to empanadas. Time to try out this water. We head about a quarter mile up the beach to Leme, a more unassuming beach located right underneath the hillside. There's a clear distinction between Copacabana and Leme Beach. It's much quieter, people are seen lounging, and the water turns bright turquoise. Okay, so this beach right behind me with this rock is called La May. The water, very tranquil, very turquoise. And there seems to be, woo, seems to be more local people here. I see a lot of people playing soccer. So this beach right here is called La May, L-E-M-E. -E. Look at the water here. It's almost see-through. It changed colors just in the short distance we walked from Copacabana. And we're right up against this beautiful rock. Bubbles and bubbles and bubbles. Now, time to head to a beach that was made world famous in a samba song. Can you guess which beach it is? Famous sidewalk. This is Ipanema, going to the Janeiro Hotel. To capture the views of Ipanema, we head to the top of one of the most beautiful boutique hotels, the Janeiro Hotel. The hotel overlooks Leblon to the right and Ipanema to the left. We are at the Ipanema Hotel. Look at this 
so beautiful. We made it to Ipanema. This is the Ipanema Hotel. We're on the rooftop. This is the 18th floor. You can see the beach back here. There's a lap pool. And then look at this. So cool. If you like these views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button down below. Hey guys, so we made it to Ipanema and this side of the beach is a lot quieter, less trafficy. We're right up against the beach here and you can see the mountain right there. Ipanema received worldwide recognition when the samba song Girl from Ipanema was written in 1963. Along the path, you'll notice the sidewalks of Rio, the mosaic stones designed by Roberto Burle Marx in 1970. So right here is the largest favela in Rio, and this is called Favela Rocina. You can actually take tours of it with Adventure Favela. Chicken bird fix. Chicken bird. We have chicken breast and look at how much chicken came out. So much chicken. This is so cool. We're overlooking Leblon and this is Ipanema right here. We're eating at this cool cafe. Comida favorita aquí es ahí. Now that we've seen the more famous beaches of Copacabana and Ipanema, it's time to check out one of the more secluded beaches known as Red Beach, located right underneath Pan de Sugar. The best way to get to and from the beaches in Rio is via Uber, which is cost effective and efficient. Each ride only cost us a couple US dollars and they also have Uber pool. We Uber north to a beach closest to Centro called Flamenco Beach, popular with locals for picnicking and it also offers one of the best bike and running paths. This is an area where people have picnics, a lot of the people come here to go running. That's really beautiful. Look at these planes. The planes go right here. This is for the municipal airport. So cool. They have these showers right in the middle of the water pump. Huh. I love how they did this with the generator. Okay, so this is the other side of the beach. And what's interesting is that they're selling all kinds of cocktails right here. Not beer, but cocktails. Capi vodka and caipirinhas. And then check out these vintage lifeguard towers. Bom dia. 
Flamingo Beach was our favorite beach for activities. In fact, we ran the Rio 10K here. As the sun sets on Rio, it's time to talk about safety of going to the beaches here. At Copacabana, we noticed that it was well lit, especially at night, and we also noticed that it drew a large crowd, so plan accordingly. During our stay, the Copa games were going on, so it drew large crowds, but also during different times of year, you might experience Carnival or Pride Week, which draws similar numbers of crowds to these beaches. If you're up for the crowds and the action, be sure to check out Copacabana, but if you want something more relaxing, head over to Niteroi across Guanabara Bay for a more relaxing nighttime swim. The beaches of Niteroi offered pristine, calm waters and some of the most stunning views of the city. What are your favorite beaches of Rio de Janeiro? Comment below. We hope that this video inspired you to get out there and enjoy the beaches of Rio. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and subscribe because coming up next, we're heading into the imperial heartland of Brazil where we visit a German festival in Petropolis. You won't want to miss it.